God is dead and God remains dead. And we have killed him. How shall we comfort ourselves? We, the murderer of all murderers. So what is the postmodern condition? According to this fucking frog, it's a uh, incredulity towards meta narrative. Meta narratives like Marxism, liberalism, or the meta narrative that science was going to give us mastery over nature and a complete understanding of the human condition. Now, some postmodernist philosophers got fairly pessimistic about this. They thought that without meta narrative, people would become more and more alienated from each other and even from reality itself. Other thinkers thought of this as a rather encouraging development. Freed from the shackles of the old meta narratives that explain society as something that arose out of a static, unchanging human nature, new, post human understandings of the individual could emerge, leading to new identities and new forms of society. Enter Haruki Azuma, whose book Otaku really seems to thread together both these pessimistic concerns and a curiosity about the new forms of human life gestating in the postmodern condition. Azuma's internationally best-selling work, almost 20 years old now, was attempting to diagnose the underlying condition of postmodern consumer culture by looking at the otaku subculture as one especially pronounced symptom. Azuma noticed that Instead of consuming grand narratives about the fate of an entire society or struggling political factions, Utaku in the 1990s began consuming works whose central focus were characters who elicited the feeling of Moe. Now, what is Moe? Essentially, it's the feeling you feel when you see Baby Yoda. You want to protect Baby Yoda. Even though you don't know anything about this small green creature, his past, his future adventures, it doesn't matter because he's been designed explicitly with the characteristics to elicit the feeling of Moe. What drew Azuma's critical attention, online otaku communities appeared in the 1990s where people would create databases of Moe elements and this creation and consumption of databases constituted a central activity of the otaku community. Now, in the era of social media and the creation and maintenance of dank meme stashes and things of that nature, we can see how the creation and consumption of databases is now a mainstream. Does this mean we are all now on a spectrum of otakuization? Are we all becoming collectively obsessed with Moe? Are we involved in schizoaffective circuits of desire, where we more and more develop emotional and even existential connections to technology and media? The question is not, do we live in a society, but what kind of society lives in a database?